Hello and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be removing the heater blower motor from a Peugeot 308 T7 and along the way we're also going to be removing the glove box which we will need to remove so we can have access to the heater blower motor and without further ado we'll get into our main demonstration. Starting us off we're going to be removing all the Torx screws on the inside of the glove box these are T20 Torx screws. There are four of these. Um, I only removed three in the video because I believe one has already been taken out beforehand and hasn't been put back on. So here is the three. There's going to be four along the same line. So two to the side, each side, and two in the middle. I will be removing only one of the middle ones. Remove these four Torx screws. And then after these are off, we're going to be removing the side trim cover for the glove box. So on this side, gently with a flathead screwdriver or a clip remover, apply pressure and remove the cover. On the side, there's only clips that clip on and I will be just detaching them with my hand just so the glove box can come off. So that's one and that's two. And then next to the bottom of the glove box, there's a little cover which is held on by clips. We'll have to remove this cover as well with the clips as well. Underneath this cover, there is two torque screws as well. These are, I believe, T20. So now that the cover is off, we can see our two torque screws on either side on the edge. Remove both of these and the only thing that's left is to wriggle the glove box off and unplug the courtesy light and the other plugs as well. So apply pressure again, just gently, and the glove box should just pop out. And once it's off, remove the plugs. Now that our glove box is off the vehicle, on the inside there will be foam cover that covers the heater blow motor. Just to remove that one by hand, there's nothing that holds it in place. And then over there we can see our heater blow motor. And this is why we need to remove the glove box so we can have access to the blow motor. Now, I usually just put dot or some sort of indication of lock position of the blower motor just so I can know when I put it back on how it should align but with this video you won't have to because you'll see what you need to do so we'll detach the plug for the heater blower motor I'll just show you what, I've, what I'm doing there with my hands after the plug is off so on either side push it in both sides and then just pull the uh, the plug off the blower motor and next the blower motor is not held on with screws it's a clip so you'll need to pull the clip down towards the motor or push it down whichever way you want to go about it so just like how I'm doing the video pull that part down and rotate the blower motor anti-clockwise or to the left and that will be pretty much how you detach the motor from the housing. And all that's left is just to wriggle the blower motor out of there. I will just show you in the video just how to wriggle. There will be cables along the way. But there's no really need for commentary on this. It's just things get in the way and you just need to, you know, twist, turn and wriggle the blower motor off the vehicle.
Here is our blow motor with the plug and then our detaching clip. Thank you for watching. I hope you have found this video helpful. Don't forget to like, comment and most importantly subscribe to support the channel and we will see you in our upcoming videos.